So we started this daily vlog. TJ moved down to Greenville, South Carolina uh, towards the end of December. The very first episode came out January 1st. And what most people don't know is that on December 1st of that year, I quit drinking. You know, December 1st is coming up, um, which will be my official two year mark of no alcohol. And, you know, really the way that I was able to jump just head in, you know, head first into, um, you know, quitting drinking was the fact that Nathan, uh, one of my partners here, uh, quit two months prior. And for a hundred episodes, we've been talking about all sorts of things, been to all sorts of places, and I haven't even mentioned it. <laughs> that for the first time in my entire life that I hadn't had a sip of alcohol at that point for like seven, eight months, something like that. Really, it was seeing him, you know, it almost seemed effortlessly. Um, you know, it certainly wasn't effortlessly, but the way he made it look so easy uh, and his ability to just quit uh, cold turkey and still put himself, especially in social situations, um, really gave me the courage uh, to quit myself. It may not have been the reason why I did it, but it was the it wasn't like the the catalyst for me like understanding why I needed to, but it was the hope in that wow it doesn't look that bad because you made it look easy. I mean like like literally like after the first month or so, I was like it's just it was just like a different lifestyle like I, and, and I know it wasn't. But like you, from the outside looking in, it was just like, Nathan doesn't drink anymore. And he's not hung over. And like, and now like having f been able to feel that myself, like into that third month, fourth month, like I felt like I freaking unlocked superhuman powers, like yeah. legitimately. And just being able to kind of share that experience with him, having someone that was also going through the same thing um, and just constantly being encouraged by him and us being able to really encourage one another. And so that's when I finally came out with that information in that episode 100. And uh, it was an extremely impactful episode for me uh, to just put out. Uh, and just the response that I got back was was incredible. And man, the messages that came in the next day, I, I, I just I like cried all day long listen, just reading messages. Like a message that came through saying like, man, after watching your your this episode, I've been struggling with alcohol for 17 years and had a conversation with my wife about it for the first time tonight. I think the important thing coming out of this video is understanding that you if you could have if you could have tackled it and 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 beat it on your own, you already would have. That's a fact. True. And so it takes accountability. It takes a group of people um, to hold you accountable. Uh, that's one of the biggest things I've learned through this process of we call them life goals or you can call it core four, but having these goals in all areas of life is that if you don't have accountability, it's not even worth having the goals at, at all, right?